What's up guys? Tim from Red Goat Garage here and today I just wanted to talk about LS engines, the steam vent tubes, uh, why you need them and whether you not you need four or two ports hooked up. So let me turn the camera around and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button while I'm doing it. All right, so here's my tea bucket that I've been working on with an LS. Uh, this is the LM7 5.3 liter. Um, you can see from the factory, this has the rear steam ports not blocked off and connected in the front. So it's a pretty simple explanation here. So think about if this was a small block Chevy, the thermostat housing would be up here. That'd be the highest point within the engine, right? So any sort of air or steam that gets trapped in a small block is able to flow and flow out of the engine through the cooling system. But on an LS, thermostat's way down here, below the highest point of the engine. So that's what ends up happening is the steam gets trapped in these high points on the heads and it can't get released. There's nowhere for it to get out of there. And eventually these pockets can become bigger and bigger and bigger and then next thing you know there's an air pocket next to the cylinder wall and the cylinders overheating and all sorts of bad stuff can happen so that's why there's steam ports is basically because the thermostats down low so the steam ports is now the highest point on the engine that allows that trapped air and steam to exit the engine okay so next question is do you need two hooked up or all four hooked up and really simply it depends on the engine angle now this engine right here because i have this thing up on jack stands the front of the engine is actually lower than the rear uh, but when it's sitting there on all on all four tires it's actually level so really if an engine's level or tilted forward like this you'd really want all four hooked up um, and the reason and, it, and let me explain so if it, let's say like in my truck there from the factory how that engine's sitting the front of the engine's higher than the rear of the engine that allows any steam to flow up and out of these steam ports so it can flow out well if the engine's the other way obviously that air pocket's going to make its way to the back of the heads and not have any way to escape so really what it boils down to is the angle of your engine if the front end of it is high enough you can get away with just two in the front. But if it's level, I would still run a four port, um, or if it's nose down for whatever reason, um, you need a four port. So really, what I would suggest is just run all four, hook up all four, um, just to be a better safe than sorry scenario. Um, and that's like what I have on my old Chevelle here is actually all four hooked up. I bought a nice little kit from Holly, plumbed it all in. Everything's great. Um, the Cadillac there, I don't even remember what it is because I never even took the intake off from the factory. So it might have all four, it might have just two. I'm not really sure. But either way, the front of the engine's higher than the rear on it. So I don't have to worry about that. Um, lastly, and this is a bit of controversy, and I don't know exactly what the best answer is, but whether when you once you have everything hooked up, whether you can tap back into the water pump or it needs to go into the radiator. Now, this radiator over here, I actually have a bung in it, so I'm going to just run a hose right off this guy over into the radiator, and that's how the factory does it. So, like my truck, for example, it's plumbed that way. The Chevelle, it's all aftermarket, but that's how it's plumbed. The Cadillac, however, when I bought that, it has uh, this similar setup, and somebody just tapped and put a fitting in the top of the water pump right there, so the hose just goes bloop right there, and honestly, it's worked fine. I've never had an overheating issue with that car, so I don't know if that's correct, but that's how it's done. Um, and I mean, and I, I think even some of the Holly uh, mid-mount setups, they have a port here. So I would imagine that probably still works because this is probably circulating. So it's allowing this to be maybe under suction or vacuum, I guess, um, to pull any sort of anything out and push it out. I don't know. Um, 
But again, if you were going to err on the side of caution, I would put it in the radiator up high. Um, but like I said, in the Cadillac, it's been in here for thousands and thousands of miles, never had any sort of issue. So um, there you go. Basically, I would recommend four ports hooked, hooked up, but you can get away with two as long as the engine has enough uh, few degrees of, of down on the tail shaft there. Um, and then two, you know, plumb it into the radiator or you can plumb it in the water pump on certain applications. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Just make sure to hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next video.